Hey there, welcome to this guide on setting up and installing ChemApp for Python. Anaconda Installation We can download Anaconda from the official Anaconda website. Now, why do we need Anaconda? Anaconda is an essential tool for managing Python packages and environments. It simplifies the entire process, making it perfect for our ChemApp setup. Next step will be setting up the Anaconda. You can choose the directory where to install the Anaconda. Also, remember to check the box to add Anaconda to your system's path. This step is crucial for easy access. Let's have a quick overview to Anaconda Navigator. Anaconda Navigator is your new best friend in managing Python environments. It makes package management a breeze and simplifies the creation of new environments. Now, let's roll up our sleeves and create a new environment. Open your command prompt, check if conda is installed by simply typing conda. Use the conda create command to make a new environment. Don't forget to specify the Python version and select a version that is supported by ChemApp for Python. In this case, I choose the Python version 3.11.3. .3. When asked to proceed, type Y. Activate the environment to ensure everything is set up correctly. To double check, open Anaconda Navigator and see your new environment listed there. Time to download and install ChemApp for Python. If you have FactSage software, open it and head to the Equilib module. Under Files, you'll find ChemSage and ChemApp options. Click on ChemApp File and select Download and Install ChemApp for Python. If it's your first time, you'll need to install .NET Desktop Runtime too, but it's a one-time thing. In my case, I click on Yes to install the desktop runtime. Let's continue with ChemApp installation and select a new Python interpreter. Find your environment directory, typically located in users-conda-environments or users-anaconda-environments. Select the python.exe within the environment. Make sure you're installing the latest versions of ChemApp for Python and Equi2Py, then run the installation. You'll see the progress on the screen, and when it's done, you'll get a success message.
We'll also explore how to convert FactSage formatted Equi files into Python format, generating .py and .ipynb files. You can close the window now. With ChemApp for Python all set, let's move on to exporting Equilib files. In FactSage, click File, then ChemApp File, and choose Export Equilib File as ChemApp for Python script. You can leave the file name as is or change it. For this example, let's name it Test1. You can also include phase and constituent details if needed. Save the settings and create the ChemApp file. A success message will appear. You can also choose other output formats, like .py or Jupyter Notebook format. You'll find the Jupyter Notebook format file saved in the ChemApp directory within the FactSage folder. If you prefer a .py file, follow the same steps, but this time, select the .py format as an output. This Python script is specific to your FactSage Equilib file that is created in the FactSage user interface. When the Python file is executed, the results of the thermochemical equilibrium calculations can be stored as different output formats. We recommend using an integrated development environment such as PyCharm or Visual Studio Code to write, test, and debug your ChemApp for Python code in a productive way. Let's open the test1.py file. That wraps it up. You've successfully set up ChemApp for Python and learned how to convert FactSage formatted Equi files to Python scripts. If you found this guide helpful, remember to like and subscribe to our channel for more informative content. Thanks for watching.